An hour after swallowing a plain white capsule, Lindy Bok pulls her eyelid and sits in bed. Forgive my French, but curse me, he shouts to the two therapists sitting on either side of him in the dark room. So busy. The capsule contained 25 milligrams of synthetic psilocybin, naturally found in magic mushrooms. Lindy is one of 35 participants in Australia's first trial of psychedelic-assisted therapy and ends up at St. Vincent's Hospital in Melbourne three and a half years later. She was started to explore how she could alleviate the pain she often experienced. Australia's story allowed St. Vincent to follow Lindy as she went through the trial. There is no manual on how to get past death, said psychologist Marg Ross, who initiated the study. When you're dying, you lose everyone at once. Sometimes this fear is so paralyzing that when they are gone they can't enjoy or exist and can really withdraw from that anxiety or just be grasped. Lindy was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer six years ago. I've been lost for a long time, she says. Instead of focusing on the living, the side effects of dying overwhelmed me. I needed something different and this was the perfect choice for me. The capsule contains 25 milligrams of psilocybin, a whale dose. Lindy Bock prepares for therapy at St. Vincent's Hospital in Melbourne. When Lindy received her diagnosis in 2017, she was living in South Korea with her husband and their two adopted children, Minute and N.A. Ray. They were giving the youth of that time a chance to experience the country they were born in. He had no symptoms, so it was a tremendous shock. At that time, it was given to live between six months and two years, so it far exceeded those expectations. However, in recent years, the situation has become increasingly difficult. She was physically damaged by frequent bouts of chemotherapy and became her full-time caregiver when her husband developed early-onset Alzheimer's. Their children are now 21 and 19 years old. It just saddens me that these amazing kids won't be able to keep their moms around and physically be around their dad, but not in the sense of having a dad. Lindy, 59, heard about St. Vincent's hearing through a breast cancer support group. She was intrigued by the idea of trying something very different. Minute and N.A. Raybok share a laugh with their mother, Lindy. There has been an explosion of interest in the therapeutic effects of psychedelics in recent years, but for decades psychedelic research has been considered career suicide among medical professionals and academics. Promising work took place in 1950s and 60s, but swept away when psychedelics became associated with the counterculture, when then US President Richard Nixon called it war on drugs. By early 1970s, psychedelic research had been largely abandoned, with researchers in the US not starting to look again at potential therapeutic uses for drugs like LSD, psilocybin, and MDMA until mid-1990s. Dr. Ross, a clinical psychologist P.